Welcome back, it's Ted here. I'm uh, gonna get on to putting this DPS lower unit back together. So first thing we gotta do is change the seals and the bearings and the prop shaft. When you press the seals out, you press the bearing out. So you always replace the bearing. Same thing goes for the carrier. We're gonna press the bearing and the seals out. We'll put the new bearing in and the new seals into the position. Let's get started. Welcome back, it's Ted here. I'm uh, gonna get on to putting this DPS lower unit back together. So first thing we gotta do is change the seals and the bearings and the prop shaft. When you press the seals out, you press the bearing out. So you always replace the bearing. Same thing goes for the carrier. We're gonna press the bearing and the seals out. We'll put the new bearing in and the new seals into the position. Let's get started. So the first procedure I'm gonna go over is getting the seals and the bearing out of this housing. So the three tools you need is 3855926. You're gonna take this tool and you're gonna put recess side up. You're gonna take this assembly and it's gonna go this way with the bearing side up. You need these two tools, um, which is 9991801 and, and you need 3855924. These two go together like this, and that's going to go inside the bearing. As such, I'm going to go put this in a press. I'm going to press that out. At the same time, I'm going to get some other tools, and I'm going to press the seals and the bearing out of this. Okay, to press the seals and the bearing out of this assembly, what we're going to do is we're going to take that 84789 tool again and we're going to thread this over the two gear that's going to support it in the vise. The next two tools I'm going to need are this tool, which is 884143, and you need 884. 803 and that fits over that. This will go inside and press the bearing and the seals out from this direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this assembly, I'm going to slide that up until I feel it touch the bearing, flip it over, then I'm going to put this in a press. So I'm going to put this assembly in a press, I'm going to press the seals and the bearing out. At the same time I'm going to bring this over, I'm going to put this in a press, I'm going to press the seals and the bearings out and then we'll go over the reassembly and putting the bearings and the seals back in. Okay, I press this one out. I'm just gonna take this shaft back out of this tool. There's the tool. And the seals and the bearing. Okay, I've pressed the bearings in the, and here's the bearing comes out and it forces the two back to back seals out with it. Okay, I got a new bearing and two new seals. We're gonna do the tube gear first. Two tools that you need to do this. The bearing tool is 3855928. Okay, so I've got the bearing tool, that 928 tool, and always press on the numbered side of the bearing. So I'm gonna put that on the tool, and then I'm going to put this in here and put it in a press and press it in. So I'm gonna put a little gear lube on the outside, press that one in. So that's the first step. The second step is the seal installation tool. That tool part number is 884975, and it has got a very short side that's raised and a longer side that's raised. So the first side of the tool is the one that you're gonna put the double lip seal in. So it says in the book, place the double lip seal onto the installation tool with the rubber side facing the step side of the installer, so like this. And we're gonna press that seal in in that direction so the metal side faces down. Then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna take the second seal place that seal with the open side facing the installer. So we're gonna put the spring open side against the installer. And then I'm going to press this seal in first after the bearing, 
I'm gonna press this seal in after the bearing. Here, put a little sealing compound on the outside of the seals. So we're gonna take the bearing installation tool, put it on a press, put this on the installation tool to protect it from the press housing. We're gonna press this bearing in first until it seats, and then we're gonna press the first seal in until it seats, and then we're gonna flip it over and put the other one and leave it in the press. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, the next procedure is to take and press the bearing back into the housing. You're first going to take that 926, that 3855 926 tool, you're going to put that in the press. You're going to put this to the cup side down. You're going to take the bearing, put some oil and gear lube on the outside of the bearing. You always press on the number side. The bearing instant and seal installation tool is 3855-925. It has two steps. A, a small step and a large step. The large step puts the bearing to the right depth. So we're going to take the bearing, we're going to put the bearing onto the tool, we're going to press the bearing into the housing to the proper depth. That puts that bearing into the position here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the two back to back seals and put them back to back with the seal lips facing away from each other. So the open sides face away. So we're going to put the seals together like this. We're gonna put this on the short side and that's gonna put these seals to the proper depth inside the housing here on top of that bearing. So I'm gonna go press those back together. Okay, I got the seals and the bearings installed here with these installation tools. We're ready to start reassembling the drive now. Okay, I'm getting ready to put the Ford race in, so I'm gonna put my shims in here, or my calculations, 23,000, so I always measure shims one at a time, so each one individually, and then add them up. So I'm gonna put those down inside the case. Then I'm gonna get the installation tool. The three tools I need, which is 3855863, this giant bolt, which is a driver bolt we use. So the recessed side's gonna face into the case. And then the bearing installation tool, 3855864, cup face. So the cup always has to fit the installation tool. So I wanna make sure that first before I do anything. So now I wanna take that race cup side up, set that on the housing and try and get a little bit square. And not too bad. Take this tool. Slide the tool into the race and then try to wiggle it around until the installation tool lines up. Okay. Yep. Nice and straight. And again, what I like to do is I like to set the race installer into the case, hold it down with my finger and we'll see how close that feels. So now I want to hold the bolt down with my finger, just hold light pressure, drive the race in. So you hear that tone, there's that tone change. Now I know my race is all the way in there with the shims behind it. The Okay, so um, I forgot to videotape this part, but it's installing that pinion bearing that's in the case. So I'm just going to go over the tools that you need. It's 3850619. You need this uh, spacer, 3855867. And then you need that bearing remover installation tool, 3855868. You also need this threaded shaft. So basically what you're gonna do is take this piece that's gonna go down through the case. Okay, you're gonna slide this spacer up the shaft. So this is inside the housing now. So this is sitting on the top. And then I'm gonna reach in with the bearing installed on this. And I'm gonna slide this into the case and thread it up. And then while well, this is all assembled in the case, I'm going to thread this bolt down and what it's going to do is it's going to pull this up to the perfect height for that bearing to be in the case. Okay, next I'm ready to install the brace for my pinion gear. So I have my pinion gear shims here. Okay. Okay, shims are on the shelf. 
shoulder. There is, I always like to leave this in the fixture tool, which is in the vise with the two races here. And the reason for that is this race and this race aren't that far apart. This is the race that you're gonna install into the case on top of the shims. And I've had students try to put this race in the case and it just sits in there and they're pounding on it trying to figure out why they can't get it to go in. So make sure you use the smaller of the two races when you're gonna install it. All right, so we're gonna install a race now. So I need the race installation tool. Make sure always, as I said, the race fits that tool correctly. It's not too big, so it'll fit inside the housing. This tool is part number 35061, or the old OMC part number is 914703. You also need that bolt you can drive it with, and then you need that 385 tool that fits in the case here. That's your guide plate. So, bolt. Race installer. Put the race in there. Get that centered. Again, the smaller of the two races. Looks good. And put the race installer tool into the race. Try and get it square in the case. Up. 